Hey, what's going on guys? Robert Thompson Sean. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing off a day in my life as a medical writer. This is my rotations that I'm doing today just for the month. And today actually is my last day. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm up to and what I do. So you guys get a better idea of what medical writing is and about my day. So let's get right into this video. Hey, what is going on, people? I am going to be showing you guys my first rotation as a six-year pharmacy student. So first things first, we're gonna start my morning routine slash morning coffee. And the key to any good morning coffee is very, very simple. Just add ice, coffee, and almond milk. Nothing else needed, no sugar, nothing like that. And then now we can actually, actually start our day. And the first thing I do every single day is just plan my day, what I wanna to do today. And one of the cool things about working at a new location is just getting used to the style of how they do things. And usually in the morning, I have to submit a document saying what I'm doing every morning, and that usually goes to my precept there. So my first assignment for today was to review content for a new drug and disease state. So this includes learning more about the disease state, how it is diagnosed, how it is treated, and how this new drug is supposed to cure or treat this disease based on its mechanism of action and pharmacology behind it. So after that, I had a 9.30 meeting with the morning medical team to learn what everyone is doing, if they need help, and if they'll be able to finish based on the timelines given to them. So since I had some availability today, I'm actually helping one of my other colleagues do some extra research on a different drug and disease state than the one I was assigned by my preceptor. So this meeting was just them explaining how I should be tackling this task, which is basically just doing an extra set of, um, being an extra set of eyes by doing more research on the topic itself. Okay, so just doing a little check-in right now. I'm currently actually working on the project for the um, new person that I'm working with today. But my other uh, mentor actually told me to work on a different project. So I'm working on two projects at the same exact time. But um, my mentor told me over a project I think is going to be pretty uh, easy to look at because it's not really scientific as much. It's more about researching competitors and um, different things that are coming up because it's still a drug that's not really actually been used yet so it shouldn't be that much information on it so hopefully i can finish that next two hours and then i'm going to work on the project for the other person um which is a lot more uh studying and like learning new um, endpoints and different trials and different ways of testing out patients that in this population because um it's very hard right now to figure out what is the best method to trial patients. So I'm just figuring out which one is the best one, why is it good, what are the strengths and weaknesses of each one, has been used before, and how I recommend it basically, as well as um, just more information overall just so that the uh, client can know exactly what they're actually trying to use and which ones are well established and which ones have some actual scientific uh, background in it and not just like used um, on a whim there are like you know like social media stuff like that so yeah that's gonna be my main project today um, a lot of work to do so let's get right into it so now it's time for my lunch break so I decided to have a quick lunch and I went outside to stretch a little bit just to actually go outside for a little bit of time and actually be able to see the Sun and after that I went back to work which was the first thing I did was just communicate with my team how I was doing so far my projects, if I understood everything that was going on, if I needed any help at all. And then after that, we had an afternoon meeting with the entire medical team, which is pretty interesting because I was able to actually see how the company is looking to improve overall, plus fix some issues that they are facing as a whole. And I think it's pretty cool that they like let pharmacy students like involved in this meeting, even though this is my last day. I think it's very eye-opening for me because let me see things that they're aware of, they're not good at, letting employees talk about those issues and how to solve them. I think overall, just like a good like experience overall, just being able to be in that environment um, as a student and not just seeing like the regular task by task and actually seeing like how you can be involved in their process in the future. So now I'm finishing up my final assignment of the day and submitting it to my preceptor. 
So since this was my last day, I decided to have a quick meeting with my preceptor and have a quick wrap-up session, talk about my experience, what I can improve on, and general advice about life after graduating. So that pretty much wraps up my time as a medical writing intern. Um, basically, there was a very, very good rotation, but right now I have to write up an evaluation on my rotation, and then later on tonight, I'm going to reflect on it and then express that about my time here and what I learned. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It was very, very quickly, just four weeks. I think that was super quick. Like, I felt like in the beginning, I was super bad at this rotation, and now I'm getting more comfortable. It's already time for me to leave, and I just finished uh, presenting my projects. So, yeah, it was a very quick rotation. Learned a lot, so that's very, very good. I think the company was very, very good to me as a student. I think it's very, very nice for other students to be here as well. But, yeah, we're going to get into... Um, eating dinner finally, and then we're gonna reflect on the rest of our rotation, um, and hopefully for the next rotation that's coming up, um, and I think next week, on Monday, and yeah. Well, I just started editing this video, and I just realized that I didn't actually have like a final thoughts or my final impressions of this rotation as a uh, medical writing, so I kinda just wanted to like reflect on it real quickly with you guys, and just um, let you guys know what it basically was about. So basically, like in the video said, it basically is me looking up researching um, different drugs or different disease states for clients and actually making content like in terms of PowerPoints or like a content deck for uh, clients and also like figuring out what do patients care about the most. And a lot of the roles are different. I mean, each day I did like a different task, but that's kind of like the main task um, build up is just making like different content for clients based on the drug that they're trying to work on that are in clinical trials. So a lot of the drugs I worked on are um, either just recently finished clinical trials and got through phase three, or they're like drugs that are in like phase two that show like very, very good results and most likely will be approved for phase three. Like the new drug recently that got approved for um, Alzheimer's disease, Adderhelm. We uh, talked about that for a while and stuff like that. So those, kind of, those are kind of like the main things I work on. I think it's overall just like a very, very good experience because as a pharmacy student, it's kind of funny because you don't really talk a lot about industry pharmacy that much. I think nowadays it's becoming a lot more popular now, especially um, the fact that I go to like a bigger name school in NYC, but I talk to a lot of other pharmacy students that go to like maybe smaller areas like Midwest and stuff like that, and they don't really talk about it as much. I think pharmaceutical industry is more like Boston, New Jersey kind of like style, so me being in New York, I'm kind of in the middle of those two, so now it's kind of a lot more popular for pharmacy students to be in that realm. And I think it's very interesting to like fear, um, be in it, you know, because like a lot of people talk about it or a lot of people like um, hear about it, and it's different when you're actually doing the content or doing the work for them and seeing what they like and hearing the language and like being involved in the meetings and stuff like that it was very, very nice. I think everything about the rotation overall, the people there were just all nice. Um, it was like a 9 to 5 job almost, but it was remote. And a lot of times I just like loved the fact that they interacted um, virtually. And I heard like the office is very, very nice. But um, we acted, interacted virtually. My, everyone was nice to me. Everyone involved me in things that like I thought I'd never get involved in. And I felt like I was part of the team. So that's very, very good overall for pharmacy students to like, you know, get involved with that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the main thing I learned was just like, learning about different ways that industry pharmacy works and also the fact that it works on different projects because when you're usually doing residency or fellowship um, with the industry pharmacy, you usually work on like maybe like one or two drugs. Me, I got to work on like a couple of different drugs for a couple of different companies. So I got to see what they're focusing on at this stage in the um, drug pipeline. So that was very, very good. And I think the connections were also very, very useful as well because if I wanted to, I could probably work there in the future when I finish um, graduating uh, in the next year. But yeah, I think overall, I think it's very important for, like I said in the last video that got very, very popular recently, was um, it's very important for pharmacy students to just like learn different routes and different pathways that you can work because even though the degree is somewhat focused more to the clinical route, there's a lot of different things you can do outside of the clinical route that are very, very useful in society and also can help out and maybe can relate better to your strengths and weaknesses. So yeah, uh, I think it was very challenging as well for me because 
overall, I think um, in school, you're not really geared towards like learning how to use PowerPoint, like how to make a PowerPoint, how to make content attractive to look for, like to look, for people to look at, how to present, how to present. And those are very, very good qualities that I learned a lot in this rotation. And I thought I'd never learned that, um, especially in school, because in school you really focus on just taking tests and then passing tests. But one of the skills that I learned here was just like, especially working with clients, is that you gotta be able to express the science part of it in a way that other people can actually understand it. So when I was presenting my final project, um, I was presenting on like sleep and stuff like that. So I try to make it as relatable as possible because everyone's affected by sleep. It's not, my project wasn't really on like a rare disease state. So for me, it was like using the numbers and using science to talk about sleep. But then I also try to uh, bring it back to what other people and like how it relates to you and your family and how it could affect other people around you. That's a very important skill that I need to make sure I work on, especially as I get into my professional career and as I continue the rotations. So yeah, that's going to be the end of uh, my um, <laughs> long summary of my uh, first rotation. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.